my name is uh, Paul Norsholt from the uh, University of Eindhoven. I will give a short, as it is a very short presentation about the work uh, performed and the results obtained during my thesis. Uh, a main goal of my uh, thesis was the development and realization of a research vehicle for the university. But before I will uh, talk about the vehicle itself, let's first start with the main challenge for electric vehicles: energy storage and batteries. Norsholt, who wins the first. E-car thesis. <laughs> Ask Mr. Mauritz, Mr. Prince Mauritz, to come over and hand over and create a media moment. First, I'm an engineer and that's a problem. Uh, and of course, they only talk to engineers and they communicate in their own engineering kind of thing. We're in Groningen here, we have very little engineers where, where I study. Uh, 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 but one of the things that you mentioned is that uh, if you talk about the effect of diesel uh, and that, that the diesel um, uh, uh, versus coal in, in, uh, in both cars, mm -hmm. is have you accounted for all the carbon credits that come along uh, with getting diesel in a spot where you actually put it in your car because it's being pumped up, it's being transported, it's being pumped down, it's being refined, it's being pumped up, it's being... Yeah. CO2 in the whole process. I uh, totally agree. And we uh, try to uh, take all the process into account. That's what I wanted to hear. So, <laughs> but also for the electricity generation, you also have the process. So you have to transport uh, coal or gas. You have to transport the energy through the lines. And everywhere there are losses. Also in charging the vehicle, you also have a lot of losses. And it's often forgotten that all those small steps together give significant losses. Absolutely. So, um, so yeah, it was a stupid question from an, from an economist to an engineer. I'm sure. 